<laughs> you giving me the stare down? It's Friday night and Posey and I are laying here on the bed being very lazy, but I think I need to get off this bed and make a dog dress. Last weekend, I went to the movie theater and saw the new Cruella movie, and I was inspired to make Miss Posey a Cruella dress. So follow along and see what I put together. Okay guys, so here is the material that I have to work with. I found this adorable Dalmatian print at Joanne Fabric, and I already had the red black on hand as well as this red tulle, but I picked this little trim up at Joanne's as well, and I think that this could be a nice little embellishment to incorporate into the bodice. It's a little bit edgy like the new Cruella DeVille movie. So let's get started. For the bodice, I want to use this Dalmatian print as well as this black material I have here. And I actually am going to take my bodice piece and when it's finished, half of it will be Dalmatian and half of it will be black. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out a bodice piece out of the Dalmatian as well as the black and cut them in half and then I can use it for the front and back of this dress. So cut out two of your bodice pieces. And if you want to learn how to make a dog pattern for your dog size, check out the video that I will link above that shows you how to make your own dog pattern. Okay, I've cut both pieces of my bodice, the black and the Dalmatian print, but now I need to separate them by cutting it straight down the center. So I'm just going to fold this in half and give it a little crease where my center is, bring it back over, and I can see my center really clearly right there. And so if you wanna be super precise with your cut, go ahead and line it up or use scissors. But now I have two separate pieces. So I am going to separate these black up here, Dalmatian down there, Dalmatian up here, and black down here. Now technically you wouldn't even need to put this print on the reverse side. You could use a plain color and make a second dress with these pieces, but I'm going to just go ahead and keep it as is. But let's start with the front of our bodice. So these two pieces need to be joined together. Now I will end up losing a little bit of length because I have to sew these together. So if you're concerned about that, you might want to adjust your pattern. I know that I have wiggle room with Posey's pattern, so this is fine. So what I'm going to do is flip these good sides facing. This is the good side of the fabric as well as this. And I'm going to lay them on top of each other, just lining up the most important area to line up would be this neckline so it's nice and continuous and right up to the edge and I'm just gonna pin this into place with a few pins and I'm going to bring it to my sewing machine and use a quarter of an inch or a little bit less seam allowance and sew all the way up from bottom to top and I'm gonna do that with my other bodice pieces as well at this time. So I'm gonna run to my sewing machine and stitch here and here and I'll be right back. All right, now that I have stitched these together, as you can see here, I've used white thread. This shows up pretty obviously on the black. I'm going to flip them open. And as you can see, we have a really cute bodice that has a different print on each side. So next you can just decide which one you want to be the front of the dog dress, the part that will show. And I'm gonna have my Dalmatian print on this left side and my black on the right for whatever reason, that's just what I like. But it could be this piece if you want. But this is the piece I'm gonna have as my front. So I'm gonna move my back one aside for now. The next step for my dress here is to put this down the center. This is kind of a faux leather, but I think I'll have no problem sewing through it with my sewing machine. But be careful depending on what you're using and your sewing machine and the needles and all that. But if you need to, you could sew it on by hand. So I'm going to cut this um, right about here so that I can go to my sewing machine 
and stitch this on. In fact, I don't even know if I can fit this under my sewing machine because these silver pieces are sticking up quite a bit, but I wanna run a little stitch line in black up both sides of this. So I'll see if I can do that. If not, I may need to stitch it on my hand. Okay, I haven't headed to the sewing machine yet because I started thinking about it. These little bow metal pieces here are gonna get in the way when I sew my skirt on and when I close this bodice up. So these two bottom pieces, I need to try to get rid of. And I actually think I can. If you look really closely here, it looks like they're just little metal pieces that are kind of folded into it like little prongs rather. So I'm gonna lift those prongs up, use your fingernails or your scissors or something hard. And then once you lift them up, you can actually remove it. But be careful not to rip your faux leather. One more prong, okay. See, I was able to take that little prong out. So I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna take the bottom one out too. Okay, got that last one out. It was a little bit trickier, but I have them out. It looks a little bit torn up and chewed up right here, but if I look at this closely, this is probably gonna be caught in the seam completely as well as this bottom one. So I'm gonna try to attach this, like I said, along the sides on my sewing machine, but if not, I can always tack it across the very top here and bottom and just try to keep it tight or hand stitch it. So I'll be right back. Okay, it turns out I was only able to stitch it across the top and bottom here. And I just made sure that that was only about an eighth of an inch away from the raw edge here and same down here in order to hide those in the seams when I close this up. So it is loose right here. I'm okay with that. You could use a little bit of fabric glue under here or you could hand stitch it on, but I decided I really don't want all the stitch lines in this faux leather. So I'm happy with this. I think it looks great and I'm gonna set it aside and work on the skirt. For the skirt, I wanna have a bunch of tool sticking up on the bottom side and then I will have some fabric coming over it as well but this red color is gonna be really fun, our little pop of color. So I'm going to cut out a length of this tool and you need to just determine how long your dog skirt needs to be. You can check out my video that I spoke about earlier about making a pattern for your dog. And it talks about how to find out what length of skirt you need. So I'm gonna line this all up as best I can and cut off the length that I need. Okay, so when I unfold this now, I have a long length of tool. And so I'm gonna bring this over to my sewing machine. Oop, let me open it up. And along this top edge here, I am going to stitch it all together using the tightest or close to tightest tension on my sewing machine in order to gather it up like this. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out another length of skirt, same as this one, and gather it again, and so I'll have two layers. Okay, I have both of my layers of tulle skirt here, and I'm going to set those aside. Before we can start attaching our skirts, we need to finish up our bodice. So I'm going to take the front side of the bodice and have it good side up, and take the second bodice and put it good side down so that they're facing each other, both the pretty sides of the fabric, and layer them up, pin them into place, and bring it to the sewing machine and close this all the way off, leaving the bottom open. Okay, I've gone ahead and sewn the back of the bodice on, left the bottom open, and I even took it to my iron and pressed it nice and flat. So next, I wanna work on the skirt a little bit more. I need to put the tool skirt on here, so I'm gonna flip this back part of the bodice out of the way. And I'm gonna put my red tool skirt on here so that I can figure out how much material I need for the other part of the skirt. So I'm going to take both of these little tool skirts and make sure that I gathered them enough. That looks about right. And I'm gonna flip them upside down on here. Just move your gather around till it's nice and even and I'm gonna pin it into place. I've got one skirt on there, and so I'm gonna put the other tool skirt on as well so I can see just about how fluffy this is. 
Okay, now I'm gonna flip those skirts back over. They're just pinned into place right now, but I can see how this little fluffy skirt is gonna work, which is a lot of fluff. I really like that. But this part is totally up to you how much fluff you want on there. So I'm going to be using some of the Dalmatian printed fabric as well as some more of the black fabric to drape coming off the sides here. So this is where I need to determine how much fabric I want. I wanted to gather a little bit, but not too much. So I need the rest, if I wanna leave an opening about say three inches here in the middle, I would gather, I would measure how much more I need over here. So let me grab a tape measure. So if I wanted to maybe start, I'm gonna lay some fabric here just to get an idea. I think I want my opening here to be about two inches. So from this point to where my skirt ends, which is always the edge of this side strap, I'm going to need about four more inches or so on both sides. So I want it to gather a little bit, so I might actually double that number to eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out about eight inches of skirt width in the Dalmatian as well as the black. And I'm gonna cut it to the length that I need it to be for my dog's measurements. So I'm gonna cut those pieces out and show you what we'll do. Okay, I have both of my skirt pieces cut out to about eight inches in width and I went ahead and did the length of Posey's skirt, which is um, usually about seven. I went a little bit bigger this time though. So next I'm going to hem the skirts. So because this will be open in the center here, I need to hem this edge under, as well as the bottom edge, as well as the side edge. Leave the top alone. So the sides, both sides, and the bottom, but we can leave the top raw edge alone. Okay, I'm back with my skirt pieces and I've hemmed them on the two sides and bottoms of the skirt and I've also gathered the top. So now we're gonna bring our bodice back over and I've taken the tool skirts that I had pinned on here off because we need these to be on the top. So lay this out nice and even. And now remember about how big the space you wanted in the middle is. Mine was about two inches. So I'm gonna eyeball that. And I'm going to take my first skirt here, the Dalmatian print, and flip it upside down and pin it into place, leaving this little opening here about two inches wide. And then we'll do the same with our black skirt. Okay, once you're happy with your placement, you have your little opening here, go ahead and bring it to the sewing machine and attach these two skirts by running a seam right across the edge here, just about a quarter of an inch down. Okay, I have both of these attached, so now we need to attach the red skirt. So we're going to flip those skirts back up, make sure the back of the bodice is out of the way. Get these all laid nice and straight right here, this edge, so we can attach one. I like to work with one skirt at a time. You could pin all three layers of the skirt down and then go and sew it but sometimes it gets a little overwhelming and you might miss an edge. So I like to do one at a time. So now I'm going to pin this tool skirt on. Okay, I'm gonna go and sew this right along this edge as well. Now we're going to add the final tool skirt on top of this one. Same thing, run a stitch line all the way across this edge. I have all my layers of skirt attached here. So I'm gonna flip them all down, shake it out, and see what we have. Look at this, isn't that cute? Okay, so this is looking pretty good. Now we need to close off our bodice. So I'm going to flip it over and cut away any loose threads, which there's a lot. And we're gonna close this bodice off. Now remember, when you use a lot of layers of skirt, especially when you incorporate tool like this, it gets a little fluffy and in the way, so just press it down or put something heavy on it. But we are simply gonna fold the raw edge of this back half of the bodice over and pin it over this whole mess of skirt.
and close this bodice off. Don't forget to check out my other videos on how to sew a dog dress. I will link one above that shows you how to make one from start to finish. And it goes into great detail on how to do all these steps that I'm doing right now if you've never done it before. Okay, I'm pretty well pinned into place. I'm gonna take it to the sewing machine and sew along this edge to close it off. Okay, I've tried this dress on Posey and I've learned that these little top skirts like to flip away, kind of flop to the side when Posey's actually wearing it. So right here, I have a needle and thread and I am going through the layer of the skirt and the tool, just one layer of tool, and running about three to four stitches through it. And I'm just going right along this edge here where I already had stitching because it's not as obvious. So I've just done one on this corner and one on this corner and they're just simple little stitches that tack it into place. I just kind of let this fall where it naturally would fall and then I go ahead and do it right in the corners there. I've also learned that when I put this on Posey, this definitely has a big gap. So I'm gonna take a couple hand stitches on the edge here just in a few spots to tack it down. As a final touch on the dress, I am adding these little faux pearls that I bought at the Dollar Tree onto the waistline to cover up any wonky seams, seams I might have. And I think it adds a little bit of elegance to this sort of edgy dress, which I think fits the character of Cruella quite well. So I'm just hand stitching these on. These have rather large holes that I can string my thread that I have doubled up on and I go through the back and back up again and get them all nice and secure into place. So I'm just going to add the last few here and then we will be done. Don't forget to add your Velcro. I've already done that myself to make sure that this dress closes up nicely around your dog. So I'll be right back after I finish this. Okay guys, there it is. I think it turned out really cute. I love it. I love the pearls. I wasn't really sure about those, but now that I have them on there, I really like them. I think they're just perfect with this more edgy faux leather studded piece and the elegance of the pearls. I love this Dalmatian fabric and I think it turned out really cute. I can't wait to try it on Posey. You guys, if you haven't got a chance to see Cruella yet, go check it out. It was a very fun movie and it inspired me to make this dress, so maybe it'll inspire you too. Have a great weekend and thank you so much for watching.